First, we open the clamp, then we connect with the IV port. Connect the power cable. Then press power button to start. First, we put on the IV portal. We check the drip sensor whether it is on or not. First, we move to system setting. If speed mode, we turn it off. If we want to use drip mode, we must put it on. We can use the arrow button to turn it on or off. If confirm, we back by page. Connect the drip sensor to IV port. Make sure the liquid is one third of the Morpheus dropper. Put the Morpheus dropper to the drip sensor. Make sure the liquid is lower than the sensor line. If you want to change the bubble sensor sensitivity, enter the system setting. Find the air bubble sensor. The lower number, the higher sensitivity. Open the pump door. We put the IV set along with the direction. Make sure IV set installed properly. We close the door by the handle and lock it. Now we open the IV set. Double click and hold the purge button to exhaust the air bubble. Now we come to the IV set parameter. Press Enter. This number refers to the IV set brand which needs to be calibrated. Check the IV set is 20 or 60 GIPS type. Normally, we don't need to change the test volume and the test rate. Now we use a 10 ml syringe to calibrate the pump. Put the needle into the syringe. Then we press start. When liquid in syringe reach 10 ml, we press the pulse. Calibration finish. Calibration code for this IV brand A is 78. After calibration, IV8 channel should be used for brand A. Now calibration finish. We come back by press page. During the infusion, if the pressure reaches the limit, it will give a crucial alarm. So here comes the occlusion alarm. Eliminate the alarm by press pause. If during the infusion the door open, it will alarm. Press pause to eliminate the alarm. If the bubble is detected by the bubble sensor,
it will give alarm. Press pause to eliminate the alarm. Once turn on machine, it will give ER1 alarm if you touch any button of the membrane defective. If everything is fine, restarting it can verify the alarm. If no operation in two minutes, it will give no operation alarm. Take off the drip sensor. Put it to pump side. Take off the power cable. Take off the clamp. Pay attention to the power socket. This handle. Careful about the door, especially for door slot and the palm finger.